Hello YouTube, this is uh, Josh Starnes and we're working on the uh, the Power Wheels uh, project. It's a F-150 with the donor. We're doing some crazy things with it. Um, it was a well-loved toy. So we're just going to double the voltage on it, put some electronics in to make it basically RC. Um, probably a robot board from what's called Easy Robot. And uh, some servos for strings, some stuff like that. And, you know, just whatever else you want to come up with. Maybe some Nerf blasters or something like that. We're going to have a lot of fun with it. So um, I'm putting in a uh, night vision camera to so we'll be able to play at night. We thought about doing some kind of laser tag type thing with maybe, you know, light blasters. I think it's what it's called. Light strike. That's what they're called. It's made by Wowie. Anyway, you can just put those little guns or whatever on it. Be something like Twisted Metal or, uh, what do you call it, um... Uh, or like a like a Halo um, sport because they're, you, they have right now where power wheels run around and um, uh, shoot each other because it'll be two, a two man team. Someone will be the gunner and someone will be the driver, just like in Halo, and they do it in real life with power wheels. So, anyways, here's the project. Without further ado, enough looking at me. It's kind of squinting because I had this flash on. Anyway, so I apologize if uh, this is difficult to see. I'll try to get close to it. Um, this is a flat back, flat black uh, paint job. It's all plastic dipped. This used to be blue. This is actually different. This is a plastic dip here. This is like a bed liner type material here. It's a, it's a hard rubber. It's a scratch resistant, uh, scuff resistant and stuff like that. I put it all the way around the vehicle. It actually goes all the way up the uh, sides, all the way around. Pretty much anywhere I thought the edges might, you know, get scuffed just from transport, loading and unloading out of my car, you know, things like that. I did miss a couple of spots, like right here. I gotta get, do some touch-ups just here and there. It's not the end of the world. Um, I painted this sitting upright. So anyways, just gonna go around to the the back. A lot of this has been gutted out because it's not gonna be actually used for a person sitting in it. Um, there's no steering wheel. It's not needed. It's going to be a servo actually up under the, the device. The shooter is going to actually be removed. That's just a switch. Uh, and all that wiring will be removed because there will be uh, electronics in here. Um, probably going to remove these seats right here. Um, I'm kind of on the fence about it. I actually thought about leaving the seats in there so I can like let a kid ride in it and then drive it at the same time. That might be kind of neat. But uh, I don't know. We'll see if uh, someone's brave enough to let me do that. <laughs> or if the kid's brave enough. So the wheels are 13 inch wheels. Uh, they're actually the stock wheels. They're hard plastic. I thought about replacing those with some um, universal um, lawnmower wheels. And uh, that way it'll be real rubber. Because that's kind of the downfall of these kind of little vehicles here. And this is the back. Just completely sprayed it all over. Again. Uh, the rubberized texture all the way around it. And looks like I got some dripping there. Oh man, that sucks. Oh well. Well, this can be peeled off and I can do it again, but I don't really care. It's good enough. You can't see it from like four or five feet. You don't really notice it, so it's no big deal. But uh, it's got functional tail lights. I actually light up. Um, and it, they didn't come that way. I'm actually, I drilled a hole in them. <clears throat> You see, faintly, oh, there it is, yeah, the hole, uh, and there's going to be a light inside there. Uh, also have the headlights and the uh, little running lights out, KC lights, whatever you want to call them. Um, ironically, there's already cut out and everything for it, so I actually put in a 1891-sized si uh, bulb uh, mount um, socket. For each one of them, I drilled out the reflector and everything, so they're like real headlights. Um, obviously, the little bulbs I have are not real bright; they're just flashlight bulbs. So I went on Amazon and bought some um, 1891 equivalent as far as the socket replacements to just make it really cool and super bright. They're 300 lumen each uh, bulbs, and they're not really bulbs; they're like 15 LEDs on a unit that plugs into that socket so it's really bright in all directions so these should really shine uh, and then I have the exact same thing for this that should probably be even brighter because it's in a smaller housing 
um, right up here you can see this is just kind of blank um, I'm probably cutting this out okay big square right there because what I did is I took the stock grill and I put LEDs in it these LEDs uh, are not your regular LEDs they're not white um, I actually thought about putting white ones in there but you know I figured since I was already had headlights I can make functional um, I wanted to do, just do something cool with the grill um, remember I thought about I said I was thinking about putting a robot board in this and it's called a board from easy robot and one of the things you can do is you can actually um, have it autonomously navigate and things like that which is really cool I would like to play with that out in the, in the real world you know with a big toy not a vehicle that's dangerous but you know something small enough that that uh, it's not hurting anybody or anything like that and I thought about maybe right where the Ford logo is, going ahead and just drilling out um, about a three-quarter inch hole, something like that, and putting the camera right there. I might change my mind, I might put it somewhere else, but it just seems to be like a good place to put it pretty much, um, especially since the illuminators are all around it. Uh, this is 48 LEDs, and uh, I actually did this with... A much lesser amount I think 32 or 28 something like that and from a distance of about 10 feet it was just like a very bright flashlight so this should be enough if it's not what I'll do um, pretty easy here is there's more of these little holes these little honeycomb holes in between these and I could fit one two three four five six seven eight I could literally fit 50 additional LEDs if I wanted to make it brighter by just drilling out these holes. But I think this will be plenty though because uh, it's really bright in my house. Like it just lights up the whole ceiling if I point it up uh, in, a, in an area of about maybe, shoot, a big six, a six inch circle like a super bright flashlight um, when I use an infrared sensitive camera that has the infrared lens removed. So anyways, uh, this is just kind of a, an overview of what is to expect uh, these wheels down here you can see that it's got a metal tie bar here it's got a, kind of a plastic uh, not a rod but whatever this thing is it goes in between whatever you will call it tie rod I guess um, I thought about maybe right in between or I think actually it's that might be a good melting position right there but uh, it's like right there anyway um, right here just turns like that it moves looks like it's not got very much turning capacity hang on a second lift right yeah I wonder if I get that to turn farther than that there's something stopping it Yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything stopping it, so I guess that's just as far as it turns. I'm not wild about how far it turns. It seems like it doesn't have a very good turn radius. <clears throat> if anybody knows any mods about how to uh, make the turn radius better, definitely let me know. Um, I love to hear about it. So, still left on some little logos and stuff, you know. I mean, still resembles an F-150. I left the, st the, the step bars on the side. Obviously, they don't do anything but just, you know, just for looks. They're not screwed on right now. They're just kind of hanging. Nothing screwed on, actually. So, um, but a lot of the stuff on these little things are not functional, so don't expect something from them. Um, this is the battery compartment. Nothing in it. Um, battery goes up under this little wire thing right here and you can't put two of those size batteries in it because this compartment's not big enough your choices are basically either get a different size battery or you could if you want to be really nifty um, change the box a little bit you can cut right here and then right there and just cut out this really strange you know where they did this little thing right here and make that more square with some wood or fiberglass, however you like to do it. And then at that point, you'd be able to put literally three side by side if you wanted to, or two comfortable with a little bit of space in between them, and still uh, affix them to the floor. 
Um, I do plan on. I was thinking about running this at at, four, at uh, 24 volts, and given you know 24 volts plus there's not a rider in it, um, it's going to free up a little bit of power. So I don't know why this is not going down. There we go. One of the things I don't like about it is like some of the things don't fit real well, like right here. Like it just doesn't. It just overlaps a little bit. I'm thinking about maybe trying to heat it up with a gun or heat gun or something like that and kind of bending it a little bit so it doesn't rub right there. It drives me nuts that that does that. But I think it does it from the factory. I think that you know you just don't notice it when it's got a horrible paint job on it and all these stickers and stuff like that. It just kind of draws your eyes away from it. But once it's flat black, you know, everything stands out. I do have to get some edges and stuff, but I'm not, I'm not going to touch up anything until basically it is ready to, it's running around. Once it's running around, then I go back through here and I'll touch up everything. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and upload this video. That's really cool. I don't even know what I use it for. I thought about putting batteries back here. That way they'll be over the drive shaft. By the way, it has two it has two motors in the rear, one for each wheel and two independent gearboxes. So it does grip a lot better than one might expect. Um it's kind of power wheels answer to off-road in the yard. Um it'll go up, up and down some tiny hills and stuff like that, but and that's a 12 volts, but, but I was really thinking about just going ahead and giving it uh, 24 volts on a motor controller, which is PWM, so that it has the torque, but I can, you know, more accurately control the speed. So, in other words, it's not just like spinning out. It can still go slow, but have no problem being able to pull up hills and stuff like that. Because that's one of the things I wanted to do with this, is to basically be able to take it out into the... Uh, uh, you know, semi-rugged terrain. I mean, I'm not like straight up the woods, but just kind of out in the sticks, out in like Saudi Daisy, um, where my mom lives. And uh, my buddy, he's also got one of these. And now that I've done this, he's kind of wanting to do it too as well. And we can just have two giant RC um, vehicles with guns on them and, you know, just cool stuff like that. So um, I'll probably bring this to the Maker Fair. It seems like it would be worth it. It's a big enough project. Some people just don't do that much, but you know, I bought this for forty dollars, and uh, I probably got about forty dollars, fifty dollars worth of paint just in it. You know what I mean? Like the sealants and and things like that. This rubber stuff, but I think it really makes it look good, and uh, and it's easy to like touch up because you can just spray right over it. All right. Well, I don't know what YouTube is going to decide it likes for this uh hopefully it'll be like that right there or something okay i want to stop it right there